ओजोनोलिसिस ऑफ बेंजीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस सी हाइब्रिड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ओजोन दिस इज ओजोन स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्मूला मे बी लाइक दिस दिस बॉन्ड इज अ काइंड ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड व्हिच इज फॉर्मड बाय दिस ऑक्सीजन दिस ऑक्सीजन डोनेटेड वन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू दिस ऑक्सीजन एंड एज अ रिजल्ट दिस कोऑर्डिनेट कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड इज फॉर्मड फॉर दिस रीजन ओवर दिस ऑक्सीजन पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड ओवर दिस ऑक्सीजन नेगेटिव चार्ज दिस मे बी one structure of ozone another structure may be like this oxygen here now single bond this is negative charge here now double bond this is oxygen here positive charge over this oxygen negative charge these two structures are resonance structures of ozone now resonance hybrid may be like this oxygen here oxygen oxygen partially double bond partially double bond this is positive charge partially negative charge partially negative charge resonance hybrid of ozone now let us see how ozone attacks unsaturated hydrocarbon suppose this is unsaturated hydrocarbon this oxygen attacks this carbon carbon double bond electronically dense place and as a result this additive product is formed carbon at the middle oxygen again carbon with this carbon oxygen with this carbon oxygen a kind of ozonide ozonide additive product this is ozonide additive product and this one is resonance hybrid of ozone now let us see ozonolysis of benzene in detail ozonolysis of benzene this is benzene in which there are six hydrogen atoms molecular formula is c6h6 when benzene is treated with ozone which is dissolved in non polar solvent carbon tetrachloride here non polar solvent is used otherwise different reaction may occur when benzene is treated with ozone then three molecules of ozone react with benzene that is ozone combines with unsaturation of benzene ozone combines with carbon carbon double bond here as well ozone combines with carbon carbon double bond and as a result this ozonide is formed carbon oxygen carbon then carbon carbon bond again carbon oxygen carbon then carbon carbon bond again carbon oxygen carbon and finally carbon carbon bond that is here carbon oxygen carbon bond and carbon carbon bond remain alternately after that this oxygen this carbon bonds to this oxygen in this way here hydrogen 
hydrogen here hydrogen oxygen here hydrogen 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 and oxygen bonds in this way to form benzene triozonide this is benzene triozonide benzene triozonide ozonide additive product now this benzene triozonide is hydrolyzed in presence of warm water and in presence of zinc dust then benzene triozonide converts to aldehyde that is glyoxal and after that water and zinc oxide are formed as byproduct here main product is glyoxal it is formed in this way that is cho cho here cho and here cho this is one glyoxal another glyoxal this one and another glyoxal this one Three molecules of glyoxal are formed, and these three oxygen atoms combine with water to form hydrogen peroxide, which is a kind of oxidizing agent. This hydrogen peroxide may oxidize this aldehyde glyoxal to form acid. So to prevent the formation of acid, zinc dust is used. Zinc dust converts hydrogen peroxide to water and zinc turns into zinc oxide. So this is the reason to use zinc dust to prevent further oxidation. So this is the ozonolysis of benzene in which benzene converts to glyoxal a kind of carbonyl compound now what is ozonolysis ozonolysis is defined as a kind of reaction of ozone with unsaturated hydrocarbon benzene is a kind of unsaturated hydrocarbon because here carbon carbon double bonds are present so ozonolysis is defined as a kind of reaction of ozone with unsaturated hydrocarbon to form ozonide additive product and after that decomposition of ozonide on hydrolysis with warm water and in presence of zinc dust to carbonyl compound these two steps reaction is known as ozonolysis ozonolysis reaction is useful to indicate the number of pi bonds here Three molecules of ozone are consumed by benzene. From this, we can say that benzene has three pi bonds. This is the importance of ozonolysis. No more today. Thank you very much.